just wanted to feel good. Mm. It had been so long since I felt. And it was really a joy to just help heal somebody. That surprised me the most, that I actually had to reread it because right. I said, is this true? Right. Was that in 2016, you and Will decided that you were going to live completely separate lives. The world of Hollywood gossip is buzzing once again, and at the center of it all, none other than Jada Pinkett Smith. But this time, the drama isn't just about her cryptic interviews or red table revelations. Instead, it's a fiery expose by CNN, calling out Jada for allegedly being a minion to Sean Diddy Combs. And if that wasn't juicy enough, there's chatter about her and Will Smith's connection to Diddy's controversial past. So, what's really going on? Let's dive in. I will never leave Will's side. Never. Ever. Never. And that's all, you know what I mean? I'll never leave a side. But just like I explained to you yesterday, mm -hmm. I'm not putting it in that box. Yeah. You know, like I worked so hard to dismantle all the romanticism and I just want to love Will as he is. Mm. Right. I don't want to put him in any boxes and I don't want to be put in a box. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, it's been beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's what, been beautiful. What does that beauty look like yeah. for you, Dane? For years, rumors about Jada, Diddy and Will Smith's unusual dynamics have floated around Hollywood. But recently, with Diddy's name in headlines for all the wrong reasons, Jada's connection to him is suddenly under intense scrutiny. CNN reportedly shed light on a suspicious web of associations that paints Jada as someone who's been aiding Diddy's schemes behind the scenes. While Jada has yet to respond, insiders claim she's panicking about how this will impact her already controversial public image. Say I'm a mean girl, I'm gonna tell you what I am, and that's a petty bitch. <laughs> Okay. I'm a petty bitch because here's the thing. Now, I might not say some mean things and I might not do some mean things, but if you do something to me, yeah. baby, let me tell you, I'm going to hold on to it until yeah. the moment comes. Where you and it'll be like, oh, what, what did you, what you need? You need me? Let's not forget the backdrop here. Jada's relationship history, her bold statements about marriage, and the Smith family's often eyebrow-raising public confessions. Together, these factors make this new allegation even more shocking. To understand the weight of CNN's claims, let's revisit Diddy's own controversies. From whispers about shady dealings in the music industry to his tumultuous relationships with other celebrities, Diddy's reputation has always been a mixed bag. And now, Gene Deal, a former bodyguard of Diddy, has been dropping some major bombshells. Everybody's always like, yeah. why don't you just get divorced? Yeah. And it's like, mm, that's like quitting. I don't think there's any person that could embrace the best and the worst of me and be able, be willing to hold space in the way that Will holds space for me and the way that I hold space for him. In one instance, Deal alleged that during the height of Diddy's relationship with Jennifer Lopez, Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith were accused of trying to pull G-Lo into their world. According to Deal, Diddy felt so threatened by their supposed advances that he was ready to confront Will in public. There's no greater mirror I could have than Will. He doesn't, I can't, I can't get around myself. Just like he can't get around himself with me. Would it be easier to go and find somebody else and have a more pleasing, more comfortable relationship? Maybe. But would that get me to the person that I really want to be? I don't think so. Deal recalls a party at the Four Seasons where this tension allegedly boiled over. Diddy confided to Deal that he thought Will and Jada were trying to scoop up Jennifer sparking Diddy to consider starting a physical altercation. While this dramatic encounter didn't escalate into blows, it certainly adds fuel to the fire about the tangled relationships between these Hollywood giants. As if that weren't enough, Jada's own confessions about her unconventional marriage to Will Smith continue to haunt her. In her book, Jada revealed that she and Will separated way back in 2016, years before the world caught wind of it. How they managed to keep such a significant detail under wraps is anyone's guess, but it certainly casts their marriage in a new light. Yes. It was 
not a divorce on paper, right. but it was a divorce. a divorce. So from the year 2016, which is seven years ago now, <laughs> yes. y'all have been apart. Yeah. Will himself has opened up about their marital struggles. In a now infamous GQ interview, he admitted that monogamy was not the foundation of their relationship. Instead, he described a dynamic where both partners explored their individual paths to happiness, sometimes involving other people. The only time I've, I reconsidered possibly was after the Oscars. I had to really, because I was like, I'm gonna ha like I can't write a book and not talk about this piece. And I was like, you know, so it took me a while to figure that out. It's just been beautiful. I've just, ever since. And who could forget the entanglement fiasco? When Jada admitted to a relationship with singer August Alsina, it sent shockwaves across the internet. The Smiths' decision to address it openly on Red Table Talk was both brave and deeply uncomfortable, with Will's pained expressions becoming an instant meme. The Oscars, it's so interesting how such an intense, you know, event can bring you closer together. But you know what, that's a universal, like, but you know, as far as women are concerned, in this patriarchal construct, the woman is always the scapegoat. But where does Diddy fit into all this? CNN's expose reportedly ties Jada to Diddy's empire, suggesting that her influence and connections may have helped Diddy navigate some of his most controversial moments. While the specifics remain murky, insiders hint at a long-standing professional and personal bond between the two. One theory making rounds is that Jada, through her Hollywood clout, played a role in managing Diddy's image during his most turbulent years. Whether true or not, the allegations are serious enough to spark heated debates online. Were you ever jealous of the love Jada had for Tupac? Uh, oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to oh say no. Oh my God, that dude. Let me, like, and you know, and that was in the, that was in the early days. Yeah. That was in the early days. And it was like, um, that's a, that was a big regret for me too, because I could never, um, I could never open up to interact with, with Pac, mm -hmm. you know? And because we had a little bit of a thing, right? Because, you know. Adding another layer of complexity is the Smith family itself. Willow Smith's candid confession about being polyamorous brought their private lives further into the public eye. Willow argued that traditional monogamy isn't for everyone, a sentiment that seems to echo her parents' unconventional relationship. If, if we start talking, it's four hours. It's, f it's, it's, it's four hours if we exchange a sentence. Really? Yeah, and it's like, it's, uh, it's the center of why we've been able to sustain and, you know, why we're still uh, together, not choking the life out of each other. Mm -hmm. It's like... And let's not forget Will's wild admission about fantasizing about a harem of women including stars like Halle Berry. While he described these thoughts as fleeting and ultimately horrific, they offer a glimpse into the unique ways the Smiths approach their relationships. Time and again, Jada has used her Red Table Talk platform to tackle tough conversations, often inviting criticism and praise in equal measure. Topics ranging from infidelity to trauma have been laid bare, making the show a cultural phenomenon. You know, they grew up together and, you know, they loved each other, but they never had that, you know, they never had a, a sexual relationship, relationship yeah. but they had come into that age where now that was a possibility. And then Jada was with me, you know, so, you know, Pac had a little thing on that, um, but she just loved him like he was the image of perfection, but she was with the Fresh Prince. However, critics argue that these revelations often serve to distract from deeper issues. With CNN's allegations now looming large, some are questioning whether Jada's candidness has always been genuine, or if it's a carefully curated strategy to maintain relevance. With Diddy facing increased scrutiny, it seems convenient that Jada's alleged role in his life is being brought to light now. Could this be part of a larger Hollywood reckoning, where long-buried secrets are finally seeing the light of day? Why did the relationship fracture? 
Oh, well, why it fractured? That, that's a lot of things. Yeah. And I think by the time we got to 2016, we were just exhausted with trying. I think we were both kind of still stuck in our fantasy of what we thought the other person should be. Oh. Jada says she considered a legal divorce, but could never go through with it. I made a promise that there will never be a reason for us to get a divorce. We will work through whatever. And I just haven't been able to break that promise. Mm. But you still live separately. We live separately. For Jada, the timing couldn't be worse. Between promoting her book, dealing with ongoing family controversies, and managing her public image, this new scandal threatens to overshadow everything else. If there's one takeaway from this saga, it's that Hollywood is a web of power, alliances, and secrets. Figures like Jada and Diddy thrive in this world, but their success often comes at a cost. Whether it's fractured relationships, public humiliation, or the constant threat of exposés, the stakes are always high. When you got a woman that don't really like you, you got- God, Hold on. Tell me, you're not the first man to said this. I'm on now. I don't think she does. I think. What the hell? How they gonna be married all these years? At some point in time, you I, get. I, I think she liked the lifestyle. Now, who's she gonna marry with that much money? Oprah? Hey, Oprah ain't gonna have her. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? I mean, and then she's 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 mean. Is she? I, well, I don't know anything about it, so I'm just. Well, taking... I don't know anything about it. I... Jada's alleged role as Diddy's minion might sound sensational, but it underscores a deeper truth about how the entertainment industry operates. Connections are currency and those who wield them often find themselves at the center of the storm. So, what happens next? Will Jada address CNN's claims head on, or will she let the rumors fizzle out on their own? And what about Diddy? Will his own controversies finally catch up to him? I could just see it in her face. She, for her to sit there, see a real woman would have said, hey, don't, don't get up and do that. Don't you miss this money? No, up. no, don't, don't get up and do that. Yeah. Talk to him after the show. Right. She wanted him to go up there and do that. You know what I'm saying? And he did it. And then he yells out, keep my wife name. I, you should have been talking to your wife when she be messing with the young boy. I, did I bring that up? I didn't mean to. Yeah, I see you, you, you brought yes, that I up. Did. One thing's for sure. The public isn't letting this go anytime soon. As more details emerge, the spotlight on Jada and Diddy will only grow brighter. What do you think about Jada's alleged connection to Diddy? Are these claims credible or just another Hollywood conspiracy? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Buzz Voices for your daily dose of gossip, scandals, and everything in between. The drama never stops, and neither do we. See you next time.